But here we are with Marvel Champion Season 8 Round 2. It is... Yeah, it is Round 2. Absorbing Man and Band of Badoon versus Quicksilver. Any aspect of your choice. So I've decided to go with the just the protection aspect. Sorry. Protection. And we also get an upgrade from the... Red Skull campaign, I chose to go with Emergency Teleporter. So, I know leadership is technically, I think, as of in most cases, seems to be outpacing and being like the best one right now. I still want to go with protection. So, I think all that we have to do now is just get the. Gotta get the environment out first. I think it's better off just taking. I think the better, the better thing to do is just take the take the, the environment cards out to shuffle them and just like pick one. Okay. So ice, which means if it's uh, otherwise such as power, gain straight. If he makes an undefended attack plus one threat, but the way our deck works, it he won't be attacking that much. Anyway. So we draw six cards. Power protection is good. Civic duty is also pretty good. Um, I'm not interested in the servo. I'm not interested in accelerated reflex. So I'll take these two. Maximum velocity is interesting here. Okay. So the reason why this is interesting is this gives us quite a few options. We could play Scarlet Witch. And then she gives us potential for us to use our ability before we flip up. But I want to burn through, but oh, I can play maximum velocity into a civic duty. Oh, I just play Spider Man. That could be that I could play Spider Man. So let's say if I play Spider-Man and then play like a maximum velocity, Spider-Man could clear the threat on this and then uh, maximum velocity to give myself a three stat, three to attack, three to clear, plus the three damage I'll take from my Iron Man strategy. Put him down to nine health, clean board. Then I have two, two and then I, I have so damage coming through. I think that's the play. So two, three to play Spider-Man with plus two thwart. So he'll thwart for three. That will remove super absorbing power. Then I'll flip up. I'll use emergency teleporter. That will pull out Iron Fist. So Iron Fist comes out. He comes out with a tough status. And two Mystic counters on him, but I'll, doesn't, I'm not going to put tough on him because he's going to attack. He'll do three damage altogether. Two from his attack and one from the Mystic stun, which will stun Absorber Man. Then I'm going to go one, two to play a maximum velocity, plus two throw and attack. So I'll attack, for, I'll throw for two, ready attack for three. Bring that down to nine and ready up and draw five. Okay, so I wasn't going to draw into my fighting fit anyway, so I'm okay with that. But now I can do some fun combos. All right, one on, one delay counter tries to attack, is stunned. Next card after the balloon size engages you here, it attacks you with a plus two attack, so it's a three. I have a three defense because of maximum velocity, so I defend, no damage ready. Okay. Turn two. Now this guy is no problem because I'm gonna have Spider-Man take care of him. I'm gonna have Iron Fist attack. So that's another 
three damage and the stun. Then I'm gonna play out a death focus. I will attack. Well, actually, I'm gonna throw from one already. Attack from one. Then I'm gonna death focus out and always be running to attack from one more. Actually, the better way would be. Better way would be for me to have attack and clean out the assassin and have the two damage go straight to him. Yeah. And then I'm gonna play a civic duty. And this is primarily just if the thwart gets out of hand and I need to keep it under check. Ooh, expert defenses, reinforced sinew is pretty good. The rest of this is pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. But it is what it is. Adds one. Counter, stun breaks, counter card, you are stunned. If a blow man has the ice trait, which he does, take two indirect damage. I will take the damage straight. And I'm stunned. That's unfortunate. But we'll make it work. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use preservation and death focus to play Reinforce sinew because that way it will heal me from one. Then I will the wart ready to clear the threat. Then I am going to attack to break the stun. Flip down, discard two, draw two. Just to see what I draw, see if I draw anything useful. Um, I could advance him to stage three. Stage three, he gains up from every trait. He'll place one. May as well. Um, so my best plan would be, I guess it would be to just go two and then three, four, which would cause him to advance. So now he's in stage three, he gains of every environment, and this way he gets he places one threat on the main scheme when hillside triggers. I am going to um I'm gonna keep these two just because it's not a bad card combo really. Ooh, okay. One arm as a thingy attacks. I'm gonna block with Iron Fist, so it will take up the it's not it's not undefended. Put him into play. So the three damage will attack. Well, Iron Fist is defeated. And then after he engages you, there's no other minion player getting a counter card. He schemes for two. And then I gain another encounter card from the normal encounter card. Let's fall through any side scheme. If not, I'll look for a side scheme. Avalanche. He's playing with to either spend an energy resource or take two indirect damage. I'll take the two indirect damage. And there's a reason for this, don't worry. And then Omni Master Duplication. I am ice, so exhaust my identity. Great. The one thing I didn't want him to do. Because I was going to heal and then flip up and do the thing. But that's not going to happen now. Okay, in that case. Well, I definitely want to double time to clean this up. And I definitely need. If I always be running with death focus and I can play a maximum velocity. I think that's the plan. So I flip up, we double time, two damage, two threat. Then death focus to play always be running, so I ready myself. And then maximum velocity, so now I'm at a three thwart, ready, one, two, four damage. Ready. 
Okay. Um, of course. Now they come. All my fighting fits. And a counter. Two. Attacks for three. I will defend it. I have a three defense. Plus two, so I take two damage. Then I'm ready. Take three indirect damage, four if Absorbent has a metal, so he does not. Okay. Well, I need some help. This is definitely becoming a health issue here. Okay, so I go one, two, three. To play Friction Resistance. And then I can play Friction Resistance. And Starhawk to play Hyper Perception. So now I have a 2-2-1. Two, two, right? So I... Thought for two. Ready. Readies. And then I'm going to flip down here for three. We got the speed cyclone, we got the always be runnings, we can do some work here. Two, three, schemes for two, uh, three, plus one from his ability. Encounter card, the villain schemes, two, three, plus one from his ability. Okay, turn six. Hmm. Well, threat's definitely an issue. That's for sure. I'm on discard two, draw two. To see what I got. Hopefully, it would get something better. I didn't. Three to heal up. Flip up. Fix some resistance to always be running. Ready, ready. I have a two, two resistance, so I'm gonna do a civic duty. So I have a three thwart. Three thwart. Ready. Three Thor. This to play and always be running. Ready, ready. Three Thor. And then one, two, three, four. To play a Nick Fury. Nick Fury. I'll have him. I'm going to have him actually do four damage. And then attack for two. That way, it's six damage. He'll take a block for me. And it sets him up for a potential cleaner win. I do have an expert defense. Night Nurse can heal me from one. Fighting Fist only, only does two damage, though. We'll see what we can do. Okay. One, two. Attacks. Blocks with Nick. Click up the play. Defeated. Attack me for two. I'm gonna expert defense just to block that and ready. And then encounter card. Dune Sentry. Take three indirect damage. Oh god. Wow. You literally couldn't make a worse hand. Two to play Ironheart. Draw a card. Want to play a night nurse. Then flip up. This to play always be running. This to heal me up from one. I attack for two. Defeats the Badoon Grunt. Ready. Attack for four for two. Four from one. That was a rough one. 
Okay, we can play a double time. That's not bad. Then there's some magic, maybe. Attacks for four plus a block with Ironheart. Oh my god. Thankfully, it doesn't trigger because of what's it called? Another minute in play. But that's getting out of hand. I'll block once I take two damage. Counter card. You are stunned, take two indirect damage. All right. Great. Night Nurse to heal one, get rid of that. Then we're gonna play a double time. Two to him. This should also be a second one because of the ice ability. And then uh two thread up here. Then we're gonna go one, two, three to play Spider-Man. Comes in with a plus two attack, so he'll attack for four. Six retaliate damage. I'll attack already. Defeat him. No retaliate because I, I don't take retaliate damage in that case. Um, flip here for three. And it's insane that I, I somehow drew all the Badoons in the world. Okay. Schemes for three. Four, plus one from activation, and counter card is wood. It surges. Let's got one card at random from my hand. Oh, it'd be running great. Just a card I want to get rid of. Nice. Nice. You know? I'm gonna... Discard two to draw two. Then it really helped me. I was hoping the draw can always be running, perhaps? But... We may be able to... to we may be able to, to clean this up, potentially. Because I have a two attack. A two thwart. So I can do four. I can play a Scarlet Witch. And she can do something. Let's try that. So let's start with Scarlet Witch. So thought from one, two. Now, if I thought for two, two, that will, will get rid of all that. And I can play clear as well. So I'll play clear. I can actually go... Flip up. Throw for two. Ready, throw for two. That gets rid of all that. Night Nurse will go away. I'm actually going to keep the Night Nurse around, just in case I get stunned. Uh, clear will thwart from what well, attack from one, and Spider-Man will attack for two. I mean, and we have the damage potential right here, so everything, everything fine. We should be going okay. Now, wood is indirect damage, so I'm okay with that. Okay. Attacks for four plus. I'm gonna block with clear. Clear is defeated. Gets shuffled back into the deck. Scarlet Witch takes an indirect damage. And a counter card. The Dune Sentry. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't you put the five health minion on the board right now? You know? Why wouldn't you? I'm trying to think what's the best way of doing this. Because we have many ways of, of actually doing this, potentially. 
ideally we want to minimize how much we want to minimize how much Quicksilver has to do. Because ideally Quicksilver would be flipped down to heal for three. And then I have one of the allies pop him down to the last stage. If I play Iron Fist, Iron Fist can punch for three and stun the sentry. But then the problem is I'm risking the I'm risking if Scholar Witch doesn't do enough to actually finish this off. So I really Iron Fist should be the, the finisher in this case. Now technically I could just send Bladen to do something and he'll get discarded. But Blade would also give me a good a good healing score, potentially if Blade stays on, on the board somehow. Alright. Night Nurse is gonna be used to heal myself up. That's a given. Okay. The other option I have. Potentially, if it makes it, it might help me, is if I attack for two on Absorbing Mare, ready, and then is Quick Resistance a hero action? Is this a resource? Okay. I just want to see because I can attack for two on him. Play blade. Ready, ready. Then flip down, heal for three. Discard to draw three because I have Wanda out. Didn't even think about that. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. That actually makes big plays. Big plays. Because now we got options here. Because I could have Starhawk go out. And Starhawk can do something. I can even play Iron Fist. I'm gonna have Scarlet Witch attack Dune Sentry. One, one. Great job. You are also helpful. Starhawk. Two, three, four. Iron Fist. Okay. Now. She literally had to get one. Is all she had to do. Would have been better for this to do that. And then three, two. Yeah, that would have been better. Sorry. We'll have to take one off here instead, right? Because that would that would make more sense. Because I'm I'm already doing five damage right here, which will clear him, guaranteed. Yeah, that's the better player. And think about that. That makes more sense. And then he attacks for three, two. Um, so when that happens, he takes two damage because of retaliate. He's stunned, doesn't matter. He gets defeated by Starhawk. Starhawk wouldn't take the retaliate, actually. And then I attack, defeating Absorbing Man. Boss response does not trigger, so I win. So in this one, we have a turn 9 win with 9, 12, 13, 14 hit points and a clean board.
Well, the option I have is to get rid of the tooth right here. Now. If I go two, three, four. Iron Fist. Door for two. Ready. Reward for two. Iron Fist attacks. When he attacks an enemy, remove a counter. Stun the enemy and deal one damage to it. The one damage gets eaten by the top, he takes two damage. And then... I'm gonna play a several industry just for the hell of it. I could have finished the game off, but I was like, I'm better off maybe trying to get a bit of a higher score. You are stunned. Her Bloban has the ice trait. He does not. So I'm stunned, which is perfect. Perfect. That is literally the best card I could have gotten. Because Night Nurse heals me. Pops with the stun. I thwart to get rid of that. I use one. Two. To play Ironheart. To draw a card. Ready, ready. One, two, three, four. Play Martyr. Flip up, heal. Then we attack. Defeat. No consequential damage because it's the last one. So even though this game was a turn 11, clean win. We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16 hit points. Clean, clean. But it's a slower game, but we're getting high 14, 16 HP wins. So... We could have had one turn sooner, but we would have had less HP and we would have had two threat on the scheme, which would have given us a lower score overall. Oh, the fighting bit. Nick Fury is good. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm going to aggressively mulligan Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Wait a minute, no, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. It can go from the disco pile. We're still good. Cause then we can do this. Flip up. Does it matter? Why not? We'll just for the hell of it. I shouldn't have done that. But I did it. It's what it is. Can 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 unless oh my god. No, I can't Ugh. Someone needs to tell me not to do what I'm I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking I could in theory go double fighting fit. That would be 10 damage. Plus 3 damage from Iron Fist, 13 damage. Plus me attacking for 2, I could, put I could potentially one turn him down to stage three. I can't do that, right? I can't. Da 
that would be so sloppy to play. I think the mm, I think the better option is to go the Spider-Man route again. Play Spider-Man. Spider-Man cleans out the side scheme. I clean out the, the main scheme. Iron Fist takes on the the, the villain. I can do what's it called? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Spider Man. Mercy this to put Iron Fist into play. Okay. Attack for two. Um, plus one from a counter. So three damage stun. He has a plus two thwart, so he's got thwarting for three of the side scheme. Now I attack, I th so I thwart, ready thwart, to clean this up. I'm holding on to the two fighting face, I don't care. I'm, I'm doing it. All I had to do was draw one double resource. One. One. No luck. Okay. Stun breaks, encounter card, already switching into the Rocky Outcrop. The villain each minute attacks you. Great. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I might just block it myself. Like I'm not that concerned, and I feel like the two the two damage from Spider Man might be more worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna block on myself. Of course, for three damage. Everything's going wrong. Everything is horribly going wrong. Oh no, because now I can't even fighting fit. Oh no, I just totally, I totally just messed everything up. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Thwart, ready. Iron Fist. Attack, so that's another 3 damage and a stun. Spider-Man, 2 damage. Want to play a Death Focus. Want to play a Several Industries. I might just what's it called actually. I'm gonna flip here for three. And I'm gonna servo to pull back a maximum velocity and then always be running into the deck. One on add the scheme. This time he's scheming for two plus two is four. And counter card is the fact that we were switching all over the place. This card gains surge. You are stunned. Not the worst one, to be honest. I'm okay with that. But what this also does is I'm going to pull in always be running in a speed cycle. I'm essentially putting cards back in my deck. Which will allow me to... Add my deck up a little bit more so I, I don't draw into that counter card as quickly as I would normally. Plus, I have a fighting fit, so I can actually punch for five straight through with that. It's a pretty big move here. Um, Civic Duty is also not bad. In this case... Am I going to play Starhawk? Probably not in this case. So this got two to draw two. Always. It always happens to me. Flip up. I can actually do this. I can go one to play a civic duty. Use Civic Duty, so I have a 2 Thwart. Thwart for 2, ready. 
the war for two. That focus to plan always be running. Be ready myself. Attack that breaks the stun. And spend two on a fighting fit to do five damage. Then attack for two with Iron Fist to advance him. And I'm going to keep Spider-Man around just so I have extra damage in case of I need another block or just in case. And then I can speed Cyclone in, in another stun. And then I can play a double time to potentially clean up the threat and do some more damage. Okay, one, two, stun breaks. Encounter card, a Dune Grunt. I get another counter card, and I'm stunned again. Okay, we're okay with that. Because now we can definitely double time this. Yeah. So death focus plus... Ooh. No. Marta is actually... If I had better resources in my hand, Marta would be really good here. Because she can defeat the Grunt. Give, give herself a tough, and then she can block the attack for me. So she's, she's like a tough and stun all in one. She's really good like, like that. Um, I think it's better to go one, two, to play double time, two thwart, two attack. That's clean. Then we're going to... I'm, I was going to... I'll, oh, that's meta, actually. Yeah. Want to play a speed cyclone. To restun him. And then attack to break the stun. Uh... Iron Fist to attack for two. And that's it. Part of me thought there was a way I, I could have played Blade. Oh my god. Okay. One on. Tries to attack. Is stunned. Encounter card. He attacks you. He does not have the stone trait. So it's a 3 plus. I block with Spider-Man. 5 damage. He's defeated. Okay. Turn 5. One, two, to play double time. Deal 2 damage. Remove 2 threat. One, two, maximum velocity, so I have a three attack. I'm going to attack for three, ready, attack for three. That's six damage. And that's all I can do. So it's pretty clean board, but... Okay, we got the Night Nurse in case we get stunned again. But unfortunately, the rest of the hand is pretty trash. He will attack. Metal means indirect damage. So three plus. I'm gonna block. I have a three defense. Put this card into play. Ice. So place one threat on the main scheme. I ready. And counter card. Master plan. Oh god. That's not the worst one, to be honest. Three indirect damage. I would... I'll take... I'll spend the resource to deal with that. Okay. 
Na, hier ist ein neuer Porn. I really... Oh, that sucks. Oh, no, I'm fine, actually. I'm gonna go one, two, three, to play Friction Resistance. Then this to play Night Nurse. Thor from one, Thor from one, to get rid of Avalanche. And then I'm actually gonna flip down. I'm gonna use Servo. Uh, let's see, we have... I'm gonna put the two always be runnings back into the deck. Okay, draw six. Wow. Actually, it's not bad because I can potentially. Okay, we. this is not bad. This isn't bad. As one. Games for two, two. As one because of ice. Encounter card. This should be at six, right? Yeah. So it's three threat. Okay. Yeah, because that number should equal that number on his turn. Okay. I'm going to... I think it's like, it doesn't make sense for me to do another... What's it called? Maximum velocity because I can't redraw. I can't play two maximum velocities in the same turn. So I'm better off going double time. Always be running. Putting those both in the deck. Then I'm going to discard two. Draw two. Okay. Two to play a maximum velocity. And let's the pain train commence. Three. Threat. Ready. Three. Threat. Friction resistance. Always be running. Ready. Ready. Three. Threat. Frictional resistance, always be running. Ready, ready. To re attack. Frictional resistance, always be running. Ready, ready. To re damage. Did we do that? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 9, 6, 15. Exactly what we needed. I want to make sure that I didn't did, did it wrong. I have three always be runnings plus my two ability attacks, five activations. At three is a fifteen. He had six health, nine thwart, or some, somewhere around there. Yeah, six threat, six, nine nine threat, six. That's fifteen. Yeah, that's perfect. Wow. So it's game three is turn seven. Only 9 HP, but a perfectly clean and crisp board. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the first time I think I've ever had three games that were perfectly clean through all three games. Good God. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And what's interesting about it as well 
is that the games were slightly different each one. Like this game, for instance, we played several industries. We barely, we didn't play the first two games at all. We really, and we did the whole friction resistance, always be running combo. Like we really leaned into that. Second game, we did a lot more ally play and stuff like that. So. Ooh. I think that's gonna be good score. I think that's gonna, that's gonna, that's. I mean, it's not gonna be agents of shit or anything like that. But three games, no, no threat, no enemy HP, clean across the board. Only S one E one, but is what it is. That's that's gonna be great. I like it. Told you, quick is was was one of my favorite heroes to play. He's just a lot of fun to play.